Do most of your friends look like you? Do they have glasses or tattoos like you? If they do, there might be a scientific reason behind it, and it's called the similarity attraction theory. To show you how it works, I've hitched a ride. Today, I'm going to test the unconscious behaviours of beachgoers at Bondi Beach. But first, I'm going to need some volunteers. Hey, guys. Hey. Right. Any chance uh, you'll be able to help me out with an experiment today? Yeah, sure. All right. Yeah, well, sounds good. Come Let's follow go. me. All right. I've set up an experiment that replicates an everyday encounter with strangers. All they need to do is hop on the bus and choose who to sit next to. So, Rohan, if yeah. you turn around and have a look, you can see that there are pictures of people on each of the seats. OK. All I want you to do is choose the person that you would normally sit next to on a bus ride. Alrighty, OK. With 24 possible options, I want to find out who they choose and why. We're going to sit here. All right, you're going to sit next to... Yeah this man here. So tell me a little bit about why you've chosen him. OK, well, um, the smile, I can trust. The eyes as well. So it's just yeah. it's a welcoming vibe. So I'd sit next to that, yeah. I was excited to see the bus. <laughs> All I want you to do is go sit next to the person that you would normally sit next to on a bus ride. This guy. OK. I feel like he'd chat to me. Yeah. Oh, probably the female. She has a very open face. I told you it was easy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Let's have a look and then go ahead and sit next to them. The lady with the dark hair. Uh, I don't know any of them, but I'll go with a good sort. Sit down here. Oh, OK. Oh, interesting. This is the same person that your wife chose. Oh, uh, really? Yes. <laughs> Friendly faces are popular, but what else? All right, and again, so you've chosen this woman. Tell me a little bit about why you've chosen her. So she has a unique headdress on, which is similar to mine, so I feel like we can connect on that and, like, how she sees the world around us. Well, she's in my age era for a start, and if you feel like having a little chat, doesn't matter what you talk about, you'd be able to chat on my line. People seem to be drawn to someone they have something in common with. Just, I'm not, like, frightened of her. OK. I don't know how to explain that properly. Yeah, maybe because she's a, a woman? And yeah, it, yeah, and young and just... Similar age. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Interestingly, this is who one of your friends chose next to. Oh, really? To. to me, he looks uh, Asian, right? <laughs> so, and I'm Asian. Yes. I feel more comfortable around people who are similar to me. Yeah. But, yeah. Research suggests that similarities in appearance can mean we also share our values, beliefs and attitudes. It means a stranger is more likely to cooperate with us. So you've sat next to this man here. And maybe even end up as a friend. Love the smile. This is just a small sample, but by crunching the numbers, we can get a sense of the important traits we all unconsciously look for in strangers. So 82% of people chose their same gender. Men sat with men and women sat with women. Second up with 65% was ethnicity. There was also age and culture. More than half the people chose to sit with someone of the same age and culture. When I pulled volunteers in groups, within those groups, they tended to choose the same person. The other thing that I thought was interesting was that most people mentioned smiles when they were choosing someone, and they often said because it made them feel safe. And I think that that's really interesting because it backs up the theory that when someone walks into a room full of strangers, ultimately what they're trying to do is find the safest option. It seems birds of a feather really do flock together. 